My father immigrated to this country when he was 17, joined the military, and met my mother in California and moved to Germany, where I was born, in Wiesbaden. Uh, we ended up living in Germany for about 14 and a half years. So I went through elementary school at Lindsay Elementary School in Wiesbaden. Then I went to Ramstein High School till the 11th grade. We lived on the military base only for a very short, short time, but my mom and my dad wanted us to really get the European experience, so we moved off the base. So I got the opportunity to live in little tiny German towns with just, you know, farmers, and my mom would go to the markets, and, you know, uh, I was able to embrace it in many ways. I learned how to speak German and work on farms. And I don't think if I hadn't maybe not had that experience, uh, might not be a chef today. Being a chef was not anything my father was happy about. He was an academic and, you know, was in the intelligence field. So for him, for his son to say, I'm gonna become a cook in the, seven, in the 70s was like, you're not gonna be a cook. But because my little Belgian grandmother and my mom, they're like, yes he is, he can't do anything else. <laughs> um, it, was, it was great that I was living over there and uh, went to culinary school in the Netherlands and just ran with it. I still go back to Europe a lot because I grew up there for so long uh, and because my profession being a chef, just to go eat at other restaurants and taste all the wines I could taste over there and you know, educate myself even further. So my, my advice is to the parents and kids that are living abroad, get off the base and go experience the culture outside of the base. Um, because there's a lot to be, there's a lot to offer out there.